this is the spot that we chose to camp at. It's so beautiful. This fire pit and the picnic table over here. I'm so excited to camp here. It's beautiful. There's not really anybody here and it's so nice and quiet. And there is a, a large raptor hunting right over here. So cool. Can't believe this is going to be the first place that we're going to sleep at, like for real. Not in a parking lot somewhere. <laughs> and Cora's been patiently waiting for us in the car. We got her a doggy seatbelt, which I actually really like because when we go to places, she just can't bolt out of the car. Um, so. <laughs> there you go, you're free! What's here, Cora? You gonna smell everything? Come on. Let's go. Let's go show them how pretty it is. It's gorgeous. There's a lot of bees here too, like huge bees. You can hear the water hitting the rocks. It's really calming. Oh my gosh, there's a honeybee on my screen. You guys just can't see it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put it on a plant. <laughs> All right, we're gonna show you guys what the RV can do. It's a pop-up. So it's got windows on the top that you can vent everything. Um, get some air circulation in there, but when it's down, it can fit inside a standard garage. We're about to make our very first meal in the RV. Here's a sink, and then we've got a burning stove that runs off of propane. Right there. And we're gonna make ramen with eggs! <laughs> I'm gonna show them the ramen we're gonna eat. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> we can show them the ramen stash that we have. It's kind of embarrassing. Cheerios. Cheerios. <laughs> right. um, yeah, we bought two big boxes of noodles. <laughs> and then got saltine crackers, bread, bean bread noodles, <laughs> oatmeal bamboo, you know, just cause granola bars, some pasta noodles, easy mashed potatoes, of course we have to bring some sticky rice, peanut butter, and then just regular rice. Jasmine rice. And then over here we've got mangoes, and we bought some canned tuna, oranges, limes, and avocados. And up here in the shelf is all of our soup and our spices. We've got a bunch of spices, Himalayan salt, some honey. This big old thing right here is our water jug. It's five gallons um, for drinking. And we've gone to Walmart a few times to fill it up, but they sell this cooler there, so I keep getting paranoid that they're going to stop us. <laughs> And think that we stole it. Oh, it's time for me to put my stickers there. Yeah, and then we have more food in the fridge too. Um, <laughs> beer. What's in here? Uh, got milk and bought some fresh cucumbers yesterday. Joel's got his blazing sauce, it looks like, down here. Turkey sticks, milk, brisket. Bacon, kielbasa, lunch meat, cheese. Got some more drinks up here, LaCroix and all that. Chip dip. And then we have a freezer up here with more things. So we bought some wings, kielbasa, and then ba uh, bacon up there. So we are all set. Oh yeah, Chua's gonna set up the table for us now. <laughs> a mini table. From Gander, right? Yeah. It's just perfect for what we need. <laughs> I 
Of course, she's just chilling. Hey, Cora, what do you think? She likes looking out of all of the windows. She gets like a, almost a 360 view. <laughs> So this is his technique. These are the bamboo bowls we got from I think Home Goods. They're so cute. Cho wanted some cilantro for our noodles and that's taking it out of the fridge. I noticed that the back side was stuck to the back of the fridge. Got frozen. So that's a lesson learned. Some of it's still good though at least. So I'm gonna wash this and we're gonna use it. Finally settling down. Spent first half of the day driving and trying to fix the RV inside because the pop-up hasn't been staying. Um, so try to seal that and some cracks in the RV. Gonna check out this dock over here. And we actually forgot our fishing poles at home, which is really sad. <laughs> so no fishing poles, no kayaks, no bikes, we don't have anything. Except our working legs and feet. And I hear a whole bunch of red-winged blackbirds, which is kind of strange to me because in Minnesota they're all pretty much gone from the cities. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them in the background. The moon's out. Alright, so you guys can see today is not as nice as it was yesterday. It's overcast, it's really cold today. I have on like four layers. Chola has been watching the weather forecast and we're supposed to get three to four inches of snow. Three to six inches of snow. Right now, we're kind of looking for a good place to park and Chola just found this little gem over here. Tucked away. So if we could back the RV into here, I think we'll be pretty sheltered from the storm. Cause where we are right now is right in the open. So we're gonna get hit by all the wind and the snow. But 
This is pretty cute. I like it. It's like a temp tent camping spot. Yeah. But... That's perfect for our little RV. Yeah, the RV can fit in here, as long as we can back it up. This is a good test right here. We only have one propane tank right now that's filled. And we might need it tonight or the next few days with this snow that we're going to get. I don't know. We'll update you guys, I guess. Or you'll see it in the video once we make it. What happens?